Hey Scott, hey everyone else, welcome back to 4 Running Shoes. Unfortunately, this week I wasn't able to do park run because I'm taking a bit of a break uh, from running at all really because of an injury that I've, I've kind of had for the last oh, probably five, six weeks. Um, yeah, it's just been something that's annoyed me a bit with my running, but it hasn't ever really been bad enough that I had to completely stop running um, until now, I guess. Um, so yeah, what, what it's been is I did some hill sprints a while ago and it was the first time I'd done them, I think ever actually, and so maybe I took it a bit too hard. Um, I think I'd heard a lot of um, benefits of doing hill sprints as like, oh, you're never going to get injured because it's like uphill, so low impact and it's such great sort of thing. <laughs> and I think it is good. Like I want to try and build it into my um, training. But yeah, I, it went fine for the actual run. Like it was probably too hard, the workout that I was trying to do. So I, I pulled it back a bit halfway through or even just a third of the way through, I think, and took it pretty easy um, compared to what I had planned. But then next couple of days started to get sore um, right in underneath my, I don't know, sort of the bottom of my leg um, along that side edge. I don't really know what that could be. It's probably like a tendon or something um, or a band. Um, yeah, either a tibial band or something like that. Um, and yeah, it just was pretty sore, but got better within a few days. So nothing to worry about, I thought. Um, and yeah, even running and stuff was fine while I had that, like even, yeah, probably a week or two after that, I didn't notice anything. But then uh, when I went for like a harder run, like a 5K, that's sort of like max effort, fast pace, um, all of a sudden this pain came back, this, um, yeah, leg pain. And yeah, it was just really annoying. Uh, a few days later, you go away, and then I could just run again and it'll be fine. And then next time I did a hard run, it'd be back to square one again, a bit of pain. Um, and yeah, so that's happened on and off for the last month and a bit. Uh, and obviously I was kind of expecting it, but I felt fine going into Casey Stride, which is my race last week. Check out the video last week if you didn't see that yet. Um, but yeah, predictably it got sore after that 10K race again. Um, and yeah, I, I guess I'm at the point where I'd stopped caring so much because I know it like comes and goes and comes and goes. Um, so it's just like, oh yeah, happen again, whatever. Um, just wait a couple of days. Wednesday rocked around. This is three days after the race. And it was still a little bit sore, but like almost back to normal where I would usually start running again. Um, not quite there, but I decided... I had a lot of time that day and I was like, okay, I'm going to go for a run um, and went for 11k run, which is fairly long for me at the moment in my, my training. Um, I'm not doing that many long runs throughout the week. So 11k is a decent distance um, and it happened to be pretty hilly as well, that run. Um, and so, yeah, next day I was limping. So it was pretty, pretty bad. Um, yeah, it wasn't like I was pushing hard for that run. I was taking it fairly easy, but it was still, um, I think just the fact that I hadn't fully recovered all of a sudden had this pain again. Um, and so, yeah, since then I haven't run. I chose not to run on park run, which I usually would. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty much just not gonna run, I think until it's made significant improvement. And even now it's still sore, but uh, it's almost there, I think, so. Um, to be honest, I probably will run sometime next week again. We'll see how it goes. I'm not, yeah, if I do run, I probably won't be very fast. Um, yeah, I would like to do a fast park run before the end of the year, but maybe that won't happen. Um, probably just do some easy running, I guess, to wrap up the year, maybe even after walk park runs. It's just probably worth it, like since I'm in an off period, just to rest until it's fully better and then I don't have to worry about it for next year. But yeah. It's never that fun to just completely stop your running. Um, yeah, I was intending just to do a couple of easy runs, maybe run with Shelby quite a bit, um, that sort of thing. But maybe that won't happen. We'll see how it goes. I'll just try and monitor it and be wise about how I run with it. But I don't expect it to be a very big issue. It'll just be, yeah, 
maybe a few weeks before and I feel like it's gone and hopefully it's not uh, recurring. Like I'm sure I'll be able to get back to running within a couple of weeks, but then I don't want it to just be like never ending. Like every time I do a fast run, it comes back. So hopefully that's not the case. Um, I'm sure it'll just go away with a bit of rest. Uh, that's what I'm hoping at least. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. That'll be the last one of the year, just after Christmas. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'll do a bit of a recap of my year of running so far. And yeah, I think it, it's been a pretty good year. So I'm keen to look at even my Strava um, uh, year in review that they do each year. That'll be fun to look at and to reflect on some of the goals I set and how I did with them. But yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. And yeah, hope you enjoy your Christmas. See you later.